Hi folks. Well, here we've got my Colt Navy, uh, 1851, and it's um, 36 calibre. And, yep, we've taken it apart, we've cleaned it, and now we're going to get it back together. So, where the hell do we start? Well, actually, it's quite a simple, quick process, and it only feels like it takes a few minutes. So, um, okay, let's get started. But, what do we need to start with? Well, obviously, we need all the bits of the revolver. Um, I've got a, a nipple key, quite like this one. Although if things are a little bit tight, if the nipple's a little bit tight, I do use this uh, ratchet, which is, is uh, a little bit better, a little bit more solid. But this, this, is, this is a nice tool. Um, also got my soft rubber hammer, just in case we need to knock the wedge in when we're putting the barrel back on. And uh, a nice synthetic gun oil. And... Um, some copper grease. Uh, I use very little copper grease but I do um, just put it on a couple of the parts. Okay. Okay well the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the nipples back into the, the cylinder and to do that I get a little bit of my gun oil and just put a little bit on the thread of the um, of the nipples. If I put too much on I just transfer it to another one like that. Okay and place these where they should go. A little bit more gun oil. Okay just transfer that. Just a little dab of oil just to prevent them from seizing in the future. Okay, I've got the nipple wrench. Start them off first. It's actually great fun putting these old revolvers back together. I say these old revolvers, this is a uh, a new uh, Uberti replica um, but it's an old old design. So let's just go around and just tighten these up. They only just want to be nipped up, they don't want a huge amount of force put on them. Um, Okay, there we go. There we have our uh, cylinder ready to go back into uh, into the revolver. Just put that over here. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to take the main uh, body of the revolver and we're going to put in the um, the hammer, the, uh, the the spring for the uh, trigger, and uh, also the uh, uh, the um, bolt. And we're going to put the hand. Okay, so we're going to put these back in first of all. Now this is where I use just a little dab of grease. And uh, like I say, this is copper grease. Uh, it's used for brakes from a, a local um, uh, motor store. And um, I mean, to be honest, I think probably any kind of grease would do. Probably better if it's um, high temperature, but probably doesn't really matter. And I always just put on the locating lug on the the hand. I always put just a little dab of grease. You, you really don't want too much because you don't want grease coming up everywhere. And here we have the hammer. We've got the, the cam on the one side and the cutout for the cam. And we turn it over and we just locate the hand into that. Okay. We've got a little bit of excess grease there that's squeezed out. I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that onto that can. That is the other place that I put just a little bit of grease. Just to help where the, the end of the, uh, uh, the bolt uh, slides over, over that. Now, to locate this, on the main 
body of the revolver it's very difficult to see but there's a slot at the side here you can see the start of the slot there which continues up into this this area here there's a slot where the hand sticks out so we need to make sure that we push the hand down into that slot okay there we go and you can just see possibly the hand sticking out now what we're going to do is we're going to put a screw straight into that and another good point which I haven't pointed out is the need to have really good quality screwdrivers the last thing you want to do is is damage the screws on these fine fine pistols because they won't look so good okay so now the screws I said when I dismantled this don't worry too much about about trying to keep them separate there's very few variations we have the, the four screws here that hold on the trigger guard and the back of the um, uh, the back strap sorry um, we've got the sprit the the, uh, the screw here for the, um, the hammer spring we've got the two screws here which go in the front of the trigger guard and at the bottom of the back strap so and, and, and these three here are for the uh, the main body so it's it's good to learn where your screws go rather than trying to keep them separate each time now I'm gonna put just a little bit of grease on this screw that's gonna go in and hold the the hammer in place not a lot just a little smear of grease on that just wipe it off excess off my hands and now we just ooh, and now we're just gonna push that into place and tighten that up with a good screwdriver I don't tighten the screws up properly until I've actually got the, uh, the revolver back together and then I go around and check all the screws obviously if it's something that's been covered up like the, uh, the spring for the, the hammer then yeah do that before it's covered up okay so we've got the hand coming out I don't know whether you can just catch that on the camera. Now what we need to do is we need to put the bolt lock in place and that simply uh, slots down in at the side of the hammer and the, the actual locking lug through the slot. Again I'm just going to put a little bit of grease on this shiny edge here. You can perhaps just pick up a, a little bit of a, a, a shine on it where it catches on the cam because that's in my mind that's one of the the, the biggest wear points okay so now we just need to pinch these these ends together a little bit just to get it down the side of the hammer just need to maneuver that into place and as you saw, the the bolt, uh, the uh, uh, hammer came back, which helped that go down. Oops. And now we're going to put a screw in to hold that. Okay. Two screws here. Uh, one for the trigger. One for the the bolt. And that just pushes through. There we go. And locates. Oops. Okay, tighten that up. Uh, now we are going to put the trigger in and okay, just a tiny little bit of grease on the trigger hole and we put bring the bolt back. trigger into place, line it up the holes and just simply put the screw through and tighten it up.
OK, and now we have the trigger. Yep, that works. And uh, the bolt in place and the hammer. Now, the next job is to put in the spring for that. And again, a very small dab of grease just on the ends of the spring where they make contact with the bolt and the um, the trigger. Okay, and that just drops into place. Spring curving down, curving down onto the uh, the trigger. Okay, now these two screws here. Put that down. These two screws here. Um, one is for the trigger spring, and the other is for the um, to hold the wedge into the you know holding the barrel on. Now they're very similar, except oops, springs fall now. Uh, except the one for the uh, holding the hammer in that goes on the side of the barrel has a domed top. The one that is holding the trigger spring in is a flat screw. So it's just not as ornate. So that's a way to tell the difference. I suspect they would probably be interchangeable but just wouldn't look as good. So let's get that trigger spring in. Now I always uh, like to just tighten that up a little bit and try it out first. Yep, okay, let's tighten that up. Yep, okay. Yep, that's working. The hammer wasn't snapping back then because I haven't got the hammer spring in. Okay, so those are the kind of the, the main striking mechanism working with this, this, the springs and the trigger. Now, the next job is to put on the trigger guard. So, just turn it upside down, hold it in place, and we have the four screws here, two of which are for our trigger guard. Now, I am just going to put a little bit of oil in those holes. Oops, that's a little bit more than I planned. And just a dab there. Okay, just to help getting the screws out next time. So let's put those screws into place and we'll just tighten them up. When you're tightening screws up like this and you've got three screws holding something in place, let's just slacken that on. Don't put one in, tighten it up, put another in, tighten it up. Put all three in and tighten them up and then go round and tighten them again. You don't want to tighten just one because it, it'll make the others difficult to, to put in but also it can put stresses on the trigger guard which no, it's not particularly good. So there, we'll tighten those up now. We'll just go around again. Okay, so there we have, oops, there we have the trigger guard in place. Now, trigger spring, so, oh sorry not the trigger spring, the hammer spring, got a little wheel here that runs on the spring, so what we'll do, see that little wheel, what we'll do is just put a dab of oil on that, and now we'll put the trigger spring in place, so here we have the spring, I'm just going to put a little dab of oil in that hole where the screw goes. Put the spring in place. Oops. Just get the spring, uh, the screw started with my fingers. 
There we go. And now we can tighten that up. Okay, now let's just check we've got everything working. Yep. Okay. Okay, the next job we're going to add the hand grips and the, uh, the back strap to the revolver. So, if we've got the, the hand grips we just slot that in first to uh, the hand grip, slot the back strap into the hand grip. Always a tight fit, which is nice. Okay, and we'll just put a little dab of oil into those um, holes where the screws are going to go, just to. Um, prevent any possibility of the seize, uh, screws seizing up and that should just nicely slot into place. Such a great fit all the parts on these revolvers really really well made. Okay so we'll put the two screws into the back first and we'll just get those started And then we'll put the screw into the base of the, the hand grip, or to the butt. Okay, won't tighten that up fully yet, we'll just leave that little bit of a gap and we'll tighten these two screws up on the back. Now we've got those tightened up, we'll just close, tighten this up and close that gap. There we go. Right, and there is the, the main body of the, the revolver together. We just need to add the, um, the loading lever and the, to, the, uh, to the barrel and then put the barrel on and the cylinder. Let's just check that's working. Yep. That's good. Let's just tighten up these screws now. Just make or just check that tight. Okay, there we are. That's looking good. Just wipe off any excess oil. I'll tell you what we will do. We'll just pull the hammer back, and we'll just put a little bit of oil on the on the side of the hammer. Just wipe off the excess. Okay, now, just put that there for the moment. And now we'll put the loading lever into the, uh, into its rightful place on the uh, the barrel. So we'll just put a little bit of oil onto the um, to the linkage here and a little bit onto the the ramrod. There we go. And we'll locate the ramrod and the pivot point for the uh, oops, for the loading lever. And we'll put the screw in. Okay, and now the barrel is ready to go on. Just give that a wipe in my hands. Okay. Now, a little bit of oil onto the onto the into the uh, the hole for the barrel, and we'll put that in place. Uh, if 
we put it on half cock, let me just take that off and show you. Put it on half cock and it will just pull the hand back, you can uh, sorry, the, uh, the bolt back. You can just see the bolt here. There we go, it disappears. And we'll put the barrel on. Yep, there we go. Now, to put the barrel on, we, oops, we locate the, um, there we go. And you can see I've just got a little bit of a gap here, and, but that should close up once we get the, um, uh, once we get the wedge in. What I had to do when I first got this revolver, because these were quite tight, was just give it, whoops, just give it a gentle tap with a rubber mallet. Nothing, please, nothing that's going to damage the end of your barrel. Um, but you can see actually that's closed up. The gap possibly you can see, possibly you can't. But now that's ready to have the wedge put in. Okay, so here we have the wedge. Just have to pinch that a little bit to get the end, pinch the end of the wedge, the spring, just to get that to locate in there. Be very careful you don't scratch your barrel as you're doing that. Now, just locate the end of that a little bit, and then we need to get the screw in, which stops it from coming out. I always find this screw a little bit fiddly. The benefit of magnetic screwdrivers. Okay, and just gently tap in the wedge, and there we have it. There we have our Colt Navy revolver back and working. Just check the timing. Nice. Yep. And give it a wipe over. And we're ready to go back to the range. These fantastic revolvers really are fun to shoot. So. You have a great time at the range and enjoy shooting your revolver.